Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome into the channel. Today I'm playing for the first time Heavy Rain. This is a game by Quantic Dream that has been heavily recommended to me after I finished my time in Detroit Become Human recently. I am very excited to get started, but I heard that it has very heavy tones in it. Much heavier even than Detroit, which is hard to believe because <laughs> for those of you that have watched my Detroit playthrough, you know how much I was in my feels during a lot of the heavier times in that game. It's a psychological thriller, which I'm actually excited about, but I am a little bit of a chicken. It did come out all the way back in 2010, so I'm expecting the graphics to obviously not be anywhere near as beautiful as the 2018 Detroit Become Human, but if it has any of the same Quantic Dream feels and looks to it, I am very excited to get started in this game and see what we're about to embark on. So all that I know about Heavy Rain is what I have read through the PlayStation Store already with the game that pops up and it kind of gives you a summary. I like to read through the summary just to see what I'm getting myself into with these games, but I know nothing else about Heavy Rain. All that I know is it's a psychological thriller and we're following four different characters. And it's the same as Detroit where if one character dies, their story is over forever. So I think that it's gonna be really neat and another decision type based game that I'm really looking forward to getting into. If you have watched my playthroughs before, you know how deeply invested I usually get into the story and the characters and the lore behind all of it. So I hope you guys are looking forward to starting this new adventure with me and let's see where it takes us. Quantic dream. I love the rain sounds already. Rain's probably my favorite kind of weather. We had a huge thunderstorm here last night that woke me up. It was so loud. Saturday, 11, 22 a.m. Are we starting already? It seems like we're starting. I'm already getting some heavy Quantic Dream vibes. Slow morning, setting the tone. The music. 11, 22 a.m. I wish I could wake up at 11, 22 sleep in i can't remember the last time i've slept in it looks so peaceful to interact hold left click and move the mouse to the indicated movement try to do it slowly to see how you can control the animation speed okay Okay, WASD to move, so normal movements, okay. Let's go outside first. I love this back patio that they have off the bedroom. It's really nice. And the stone wall with the ivy. This is a really nice house. We're kind of just like walking out here in our underwear. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have neighbors. Oh, we have kids. Maybe one kid, two kids. There's a bunk bed. No, wow, that's a nice tree house. I love this home. It's very modern looking. All right, we should probably get back inside and not be outside naked. Let's close the door. I don't know if they have like air conditioning on or something. All right, get dressed. Or not. Okay, just look at the closet. At any time, you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing down and holding right click. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Wow, that's a really neat interaction. That's going to be really fun to hear character thoughts like that. His wife, probably. He smiled, so I'm guessing. Where is she? It is 11.22 a.m. And if we have kids, she's probably like out with the kids. What's on the floor? To interact, hold left click and move. Okay. 
gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. School on a Saturday? Maybe summer camp? I don't know. We're just a plot hole already. <laughs> so our wife's name is Grace. She didn't say her name, but she signed it Grace. All right, well, let's go take a shower. That's what he wanted to do. There's no more thoughts for us right now. Let's find the shower. Do you have a bird? You have a pretty bird. Singing his little heart out. What is this, like a closet? The controls are a little bit wonky. I will say. Oh, bathroom. Yeah, we'll probably have to go to the bathroom. They're a little bit, like, all over the place. I can see what you guys were saying about Detroit being more polished, but I don't mind. It's definitely flush. Ooh, bathroom. Okay. So, let's brush our teeth. Did that say ice spice? Oh, icy shine. <laughs> so it means they're toothpaste uh, ice spice. I'm sensing a theme with Quantic Dream and they're like, they're beginning opening characters, letting them breathe by doing these slower motions with them. Getting to know the character through everyday chores. Pretty neat. What's that? Oh, a razor. Um, when this type of symbol appears, hold left click and unfold the movement slowly with the mouse. Okay. I don't want to cut him. Nice. Fresh and clean. Looking in mirrors. <laughs> he looks very happy this morning. Probably because he got up at 11.22 in the morning. He's been chilling. I want to see what this little pod thing is out here. It like caught my eye. What is that? Maybe some sort of, maybe something one of the kids made or maybe a lamp or, I don't know. Let's get in the shower though. Turn your head to see which actions are available. Use the mouse to look over. Okay. I love open showers. Oh, I think I don't have an eye tracker. <laughs> The only thing that would make this shower better is like a window in the back. That would be really nice. Wow. Um, hold both left and right clicks, move back and forth quickly. Okay. Okay, new underwear, nice and clean. Nothing like a refreshing shower. I almost feel awake. The looking around movement is so strange, but interesting. Um, control to switch camera angles, use them to explore your environment. Okay. So what's in this room? The kids room. We like to juggle. I cannot juggle. I am terrible at juggling. Um, for requi actions requiring time and precision, use the indicated buttons as soon as they appear. All right. <laughs> He's good at juggling. Okay, interesting interaction. 
their little teepee. I like the space picture over there. The cats one. <laughs> That's a really cool space poster. And the T-Rex too. Nice. Oh, the sun. Is that a Ninja Turtle down there? Oh no, I think it's a robot. All right, let's go get dressed. I'm as clean as a whistle. Time to get dressed. Actually put clothes on this time. <clears throat> okay. There's a lot of comfortable silence in this game. Work? I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Okay. I'm guessing he works from home because he's not talking about going to the office or anything like that. Working on a Saturday. I wonder what he does. The character's thoughts change with the situation. Remember to check them regularly. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. Yeah, it is nice. I don't want to go outside because I want to kind of explore the house first. Coffee? I could go for a cup of coffee. Okay, let's do that. Is this the coffee machine? An espresso machine, nice. Abba. That looks delicious. What next? Thirsty? I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. Okay. Oh, the birthday cake. Cottage cheese, raspberry something. There's two birthday cakes. Why are there two birthday cakes? Oh, shake the orange juice. Shake it up. <laughs> Straight from the carton, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's kind of gross, but it is what it is. Grace? It's almost lunchtime. Grace and the kids will be back any minute. There's some food set out. Oh, we can interact with the food. Some grapes. Looks like cookies, maybe. Bananas. Probably stuff for the party, if I had to guess. Oof. It's stuffy in here. <sighs> I should get some fresh air in the garden. I would love to garden, but he did mention something about working. And I feel like we should get work done before we have the have the kids come home and we're busy the rest of the weekend with this birthday party. Everything's all set up. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. What else is around here? Oh, I thought he was going to yell about the toys not being picked up, but he's playing with the toys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Did he just leave it in the middle of the area? Where did it go? Uh, music. How about some music? Yeah, let's turn some music on. Where do I do that? That looks like the TV. I don't want to sit on the couch because I don't want to waste any time that we could be like working and stuff. I feel like since we're given the option.
relaxing. Wow, without a ruler? Been doing this for a while. Just like that. Oops, I messed the wrong button, I'm sorry. Oh, you pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay. I like how it yelled at me. Okay, just knocked it out. What if we choose to do more? Oh, that's like the hold down while you do it. Oops, I think I messed that up. Too fast, unfold slowly, okay. Oh, we're doing the fine lines. Press and hold down each key, appearing until they all disappear. Okay. This hurts my brain a little. Okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I thought the pointer one was going to disappear and then I'd have to like figure out which one I was holding as it disappeared, but this isn't bad. Let's do more. Let's actually like finish our work. Erasing the sketch. So far, I love the interactions. They're a little bit um, difficult sometimes. There's a lot of them, but I like them. What else can we do? Oh, shading. Nice. I'm glad we're getting this done. I feel like it's important that we get all of our work done. Wow, that looks really good. What's left? Oops. Oh, an autograph. Ah, <gasps> that was neat. The plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. Nice. Okay. So what now? Work? Finished. Nice. Now I can relax and seize the day. Exactly. Now we can relax. Maybe there's something on TV. Yeah. I could just relax on the couch until Grace and the kids come back. But what about the garden? Let's go see what's outside. Do we have time to garden? This is a very nice backyard. Are those swords or samurai? Or, uh, samurai? <laughs> Lightsabers. They have like a lightsaber base. They're home! Dad! Hey, hey Dad! take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, 10 years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? <sighs> and I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. <laughs> Ethan, can you please help me? That's our wife. Oh, I'm she's coming. pretty. Everyone seems so happy. I'm nervous because you guys told me this was a very sad game, and I feel like we're just... We're in the beginning phases, and then we're just gonna get completely shocked by something. 
Oh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? We did. I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details, and then I should be ready to present the plans to the client. Oh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. Okay. No problem. Leave it to me. They're playing in the backyard. <gasps> I love this picture. I didn't see that when we were walking around earlier. In the fireplace? Is that a fireplace? There's wood laid out. Oh, in the center there. Is this what she was talking about? The cupboard? That door is always sticking. Give it a big tug. Uh, okay. That's the set my mother gave us. Be careful, okay? Don't worry. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. <laughs> so we need to be careful with these plates. Got it. Oh, boy. I was too slow, okay. now play with the kids i think i'll go outside and play with the kids okay let's do it is this door open oh no i have to open it wait did i close it i think i closed it it was open okay i thought so but i wasn't sure <laughs> Let's see. This is a beautiful area. I kind of want to just like explore before we play with the kids first because we didn't get a chance to really look out here. What's this? Get some vitamin D. It probably feels so nice. All right. This is a really nice backyard. I like how it's so fenced in. And my favorite feature is this stone, um, this stone wall with the ivy covering it. It's beautiful. Oh, I think that's just like laying on the grass interaction. Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to give you all motion sickness. <laughs> all right, so let's play with the kids. That's it, I'm free as a bird. <laughs> hey, five minutes boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promised mom. Who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. What are they doing? Turn your head with A and D. Okay. Me first! Me first! No, me first! Oh, this is hard. Well, he's the birthday boy, so let's go ahead and do... All right, Jason. Whatever we do. The helicopter. Oh, helicopter. My brother used to do this with me. In this turn, game. Now it's my turn. I don't know what you guys were talking about. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, Sean, get ready. Here <laughs> we go. Oh, I see. This is how we turn. Look at the little dragonfly. Oh, almost tripped on it. This is a beautiful backyard. Look at the garden and the flowers. Careful, hang on. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt in the morning. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Food's ready, kids. You We're coming, coming in? in? That was cute. I just want to adventure over here. I love being outside. I love the ambiance in this game so far. It's really nice. I wish we could garden, but... I think I missed my opportunity on that one. Wait, stop. The controls! Sean? The controls. Lunch is ready. I'll go get him. Where do you go? Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. What? He was just here. Hey, look, it's another one of those, like, pod thingies. I don't know where he could have gone. He wouldn't be, like, in our office, would he? No, it doesn't look like he's here. Did he go up to his room? There's not, like, a bathroom or anything else down here, right? Just the one single toilet upstairs. <laughs> For such a huge house, the layout is a little bit weird. Yeah, because there's nothing else. So he Ethan, has to be upstairs. Please get Sean now. The meal is going to be cold. I'm trying to find him, Grace. Oh, there he is. Sean? <laughs> What's up? It's Merlin. <laughs> He's dead. What? He's dead and it's all my fault. <laughs> no, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. The bird? Sean, there's some what? things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. I know. I know. The bird was fine this morning. He was singing. What happened? And how did Sean know to just go upstairs like that? That's so strange. What happened? <laughs> wow, look at Grace. She's beautiful. They seem happy. We're in the mall. <laughs> Comic book store. Weird, creepy clown. Oh, I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for Why a minute? Why is the music? I promise, we won't be long. Sure, no problem. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come on, honey. All right, so we're hanging out with Jason in the mall. The music's very ominous um, for how things are. I don't know, I'm scared. I, it's making me feel uneasy. Like this happiness is false. Oh, Jason. he's right there, okay. I was like, where's Jason? Jason. Excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh, <laughs> trying to hold my hand. Why isn't he stopping? Jason. I saw it pop up for a second, the not far. Jason! Okay, I guess it's not gonna pop up again. I see him, I'm just gonna keep following him. Why isn't he listening? Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? Doesn't even I care. I'd really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, a balloon? let's go buy a balloon. Great! Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. 99 red balloons. That'll be $2, sir. I guess clowns Jason, were... wait for me. Wait oh, no, for he's gonna dad, run off son. again? It's really crowded in here. Was he just leaving? What the heck? Okay, I still see him, but... What, do we not have money? Sir, you owe me $2. Oh my God, okay. I lost Jason, I don't know where he went. I see him still a little bit. Keep the change. 
Okay, finally found the money. I'm trying to keep my eyes on him. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Um, he was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. This is my worst nightmare. Losing my kid in the ball. What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be uh, right back. Okay. Um, Jason! Why would he just run away? The red balloon I bought it should make him easier to spot. Yeah, I... The clown. He may have seen which way Jason went. Uh, no. He definitely doesn't know. He walked this way. One second. I barely took my eyes off him for one second. Do you think maybe he ran? We can't go in the stores, can we? Keep cool. He couldn't have gone very far. I'll find him. Jason! Did he go in here? We can't look inside. Oh, we can. He's not there. Stop running into the store. I'm worried we're losing time. We're going to lose this kid. Um. Ow, this is so disorienting. Jason! Jason! Red balloon. Red balloon. Okay. Jason! I see it. The red balloon. Follow the red balloon. There's so many. I've never taken my eyes off it. Why in God's name did hey, I? Where is he? He must have gotten swept away by the crowd. The red balloon, it disappeared? I don't understand. Fuck, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose okay, him. Okay, red balloon, red balloon. I'm gonna find him. I have to find him. It's so crowded in here. The red balloon. Follow the red balloon. Yeah, it was over here. It's right here. He's right here. Jason, God, you really had oh me scared. Oh my God, that's not Jason. Red balloon, red balloon. This is, I'm sweating. I hate this. The red balloon. Jason! Jason! Why is he running? Is that the exit? The red balloon. Follow the red balloon. Why isn't he listening? Jason! He's crossing the street. understand why wasn't he listening and how did he die i thought that sean jumped out in front of him or i don't know is the dad's name sean that was the intro oh my god guys I'm like, my whole body is shaking. I'm sweating. That's one of my worst nightmares is losing a kid in the mall. And then not saying that it was his fault, but he shouldn't have yelled across the street at a kid. Just like, just catch up to him. Now that you see him safe on the other side, just run over to him safely as an adult. Oh, that's awful. It was a terrible situation. I understand when you're like in the moment that you're not thinking clearly, but. I can't even, I couldn't even imagine. I knew it was a false sense of happiness in the beginning. It was too good, too beautiful, too nice and sweet. And then the music just made me feel uneasy and I knew that a bad moment was coming I just didn't in a million years think that it would have gone that way I'm 
getting a lot of like Detroit opening scene vibes from this too, which is very neat to see like the, the people looking at the camera, it raining, the city-ish vibes, city sub suburb vibes, the music. Quantic Dream's very good at setting the tone. Hey, Junkyard. All I can see is Detroit in a lot of these scenes. The Claw. Two years later, wow. I guess we're picking up from school, yeah. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. So two years later is kind of a long time, but when you're dealing with, like, the loss of a kid, the loss of a brother, I'm sure that the life of these people has forever been changed. I'm just trying to like feel how they possibly are feeling. I couldn't imagine losing a kid. I don't want to put myself into that situation or feel those things because like I said in the mall scene, that's my worst nightmare is losing a kid in a public place like that. And then for the events to unfold the way that they did, what a traumatizing day. I feel like we're going to see some heavy tones of PTSD, depression, loss that everyone goes through. But since this is such a heavy loss, those feelings are probably going to be present for a while, especially if they're not getting help outside or they're not handling it well. I'm not sure how any of these people have handled the death over the past two years. And I'm sure we're going to learn more about how all of them handled that. But I'm sensing that this is why it's called heavy rain. It's and why you guys were telling me that it has some heavy themes to it because I think we're going to be dealing with this loss for a while. I mean, I'm what 20 minutes into the game and already we're we're just being put through so many emotions. So I sense that we're going to be a lot different than we were waking up at 11:30 in the morning on a Saturday with life being blissful all the way two years later after everything that happened that day. It's definitely gonna be a different game from the one we have been playing for the past 20 minutes. Handle was slippery, it's raining. I always do that when I, I thought he was gonna do that. I always do that when I get um, my daughter in the car. Check the rear view mirror. What's that one, seatbelt? <gasps> he has a seatbelt on, right? I didn't check. I'm guessing they got divorced. We're not in the same house. Oh, man. Dang. Sean. So I guess we have custody of him today. 
terrible that they got divorced. The origami killer strikes again. Origami killer strikes again. Seven victim identified. Police have confirmed that the modus operandi is indeed that of the origami killer. Wow, he's very disturbed by that article. All right, schedule. I wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. All right. Let's check out this schedule for Sean. We want to be a good father to him. Snack at 4.30, six dinner, se uh, six homework, seven dinner bed. Okay, 4.30 snack. What time is it? I saw this clock over here. Oops. Is that say five o'clock already? Almost five? Oh, we need to get a snack. Uh, snack. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's okay. see what we can find in the kitchen. Let's get him a snack. Maybe it's in the cupboard. Chips. I don't know what that is. Cooking supplies. Do we have a healthier snack than chips? Fruit. All right, yes, much better. Looks like there's clocks all over this. Here, Sean. Here's your oh. snack. Thanks, Dad. All right. We need to make sure we're checking up on the time. So it's 5 o'clock now. I think it said 6 was homework and then dinner. So we can watch TV for an hour. So let's explore the house for a little bit. There's also a clock here. Time's moving pretty quickly. We could go outside. Grace has Sean this weekend. So they're definitely split up. It's kind of what I assumed from him walking in here and there's moving boxes, which is interesting. I guess he just never really unpacked from two years ago. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Yeah, we should probably have him do that. For sure. I just wanted to check out our backyard. It looks so sad compared to our backyard before. Jeez. I was gonna play basketball, but I don't know. It's raining. I'd better get back inside. Yeah. We should definitely head back in there. I'm just nervous with the time moving the way that it is. <laughs> the outside music, so sad. <laughs> okay, so it's almost six. We have like 30 more minutes. It's in the fridge. A beer or orange juice. Didn't say what day of the week it is, but I think we'll have a beer. Why not? Oh, okay. I don't know what button that is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wow, just finish it in one sip. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is that other one? Oh, like drink more of it. I don't want to be like a heavy drinker, but sometimes I do like to enjoy a glass of wine if I've had like a a longer day. Oh, is he sick? Um, are you ill? Yeah. You've got a cold coming on. I'm going to see if I can find some medicine for you. Okay. Medicine. I think there's some medicine in the bathroom cabinet. Bathroom, okay. So that's the laundry room. What's this? Is this the bathroom? I can't see. <clears throat> um, there's no cabinet in here. Turn the light on. Oh, the controls. 
Let's go check upstairs real quick. There's also a male over there. I'll check the male after we get him some medicine. I'm trying to hurry because I feel like I don't want to be off schedule for him. And now he's sick and I don't want any reason for Grace to possibly be upset with us. Nice. Okay. That was very easy to find. There's so much to interact with and it's kind of making me crazy that I feel like I can't interact with stuff, but maybe we'll have time after dinner or after homework. Yeah, he needs to start his homework. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, it's a jacket. It looked like a, I don't know. It just looked very weird. <laughs> Here, Here you go. Take this. I don't It'll know. Make you feel better. It looks like a pig Thanks, or something. Dad. Okay, homework. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Yes. Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. It's 6 we'll 30. It okay? No. Now. I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. For sure. Now get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. Oh, we can I'll turn this you. off. Nice. Oh, wait. No, maybe we're just looking at it. There we go. All right. While he does his homework, let's go take a look at those... Um... Okay, yes, he is doing a homework. He looked at the clock and I was like, he's not about to tell me it's not homework time, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at what this mail is over here, over there. Magazines or something, Ethan Mars. Personal. So his name's Ethan, okay. I thought his name was Sean and I was calling him Sean. But Sean's the kid. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Who is this from? What? It was addressed to us. Why, aren't, why don't we have any inner dialogue about what that was? It's dinner time. I'd better make something for Sean. Did he turn the TV back on? Let me have a look. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Pretty good. Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. Okay. I think I came at like right as he finished. All right. So it is dinner time, right? What time is it? It's almost seven. Okay. We're sticking to the schedule. We're doing good. Let's try to get some dinner situated. No dinner? Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. What? We have to feed him dinner. What are you talking about? Yeah, seven dinner, eight bed. Uh-oh. Can I not give him dinner now? Here, let's ask him if he wants dinner. Dinner? Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry. See, he's hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. I feel like we should talk to him more. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. He seems very standoffish with us. Which, I mean, given everything that has happened to this poor family, I understand it, but... Makes me sad. Roasted chicken or pizza? Pizza. You're hanging out with dad. Rachel has him this weekend, so we might as well give him some pizza, make him happy. Pizza is good for you anyways. At least 
most pizza. Maybe not microwaved pizza. <laughs> I also like how it's just like chilling, open in the fridge, not in a container. It probably tastes like fridge. But it's the best that a single dad can do sometimes. Hot. All right, cut it up for him. This actually looks really good. I love pizza. I was trying to justify it. <laughs> you can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming. All right, let's turn that blasted TV off. This kid and the TV. I swear that I turned it off before. Let's also turn some lights on in the house. Because it's eerily dark in here. Okay. Can we sit down with him? Yes. Oops. Why didn't we make pizza for us? This is so depressing. I did D too. And I did W last time, but maybe it wasn't in enough time. Dang, we lost our skill. What time is it? I feel like we should stop juggling. <laughs> put him back down, put him back down. Defeated. Dang. Stinks. Okay. It's bedtime. Time for bed. Yeah, go to bed. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I step a little longer? No, we have to follow the schedule. All right. We'll wait a little before going to bed. But don't say anything to your mother, okay? Oh, dang. I accidentally pressed yes. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. Nothing special. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I step a little longer? All right, let's say now, no this time. that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. Yeah. You have to get some sleep. I didn't mean All to... All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go yes. brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Yeah, I didn't mean to... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to say... Yes, you can stay up late. <laughs> it was a misclick. Okay. Well, we followed the schedule pretty much. I think we were 30 minutes late for a few things, but that's okay. Let's go check on the laundry machine again one more time because we put something in there. Oh, okay, we can't. Oh my goodness, these controls. I see what you guys mean about the controls being a little bit wonky. Oh, the front door. All right, we're just making sure it's locked before we go to bed. I thought it was to turn the light off. I hear him like moving around up here. So yeah, he probably like brushed his teeth and. Look 
at his room. He has the same space poster. Oh, all the same posters. Um, I don't want to open the window. But I will close the blinds. It's raining outside. What's that? Oh my god. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please. I can't sleep without him. Okay. I know where it All is. All right, I'll have a look around and <clears throat> see if I can find it, okay? He's on the dryer. Wash machine dryer thing. This house is so sad. Okay, it's right here. Especially, well, I don't know the circumstance on when the divorce actually happened. It could have happened very recently, and that's why there's boxes still here unpacked. Or he could just be very severely depressed and not unpacked anything since the move, which could go either way. I couldn't imagine getting a divorce after something like that happens to your family. It wasn't anyone's fault. Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? No. I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Oh. Good night, Sean. Is he blaming himself? I think he's blaming himself a lot. I mean, he was in charge of watching Sean during that time, and he got him the balloon, and he was trying to find him, and Grace was there to be like, find him. And then everything that happened, it's, it's not his fault, but I can see how he would blame himself. All right, let's close the door. Okay. You know, what's happening? Are we having a panic attack? Let's see if it's like a panic attack or something. What's happening? <gasps> Whoa! Um, what about Sean? Did we just leave the house? Where are we? Car keys? Oh. An origami? Is Ethan the origami killer? Carnaby Corner North. What just happened? For 2010, this isn't that bad. Tuesday, 6 a.m., 272 inches. What does that mean? Uh, 
a motel. Oh, the game's getting a little bit stuttery. Okay, so we're that guy that we were just staring at. Okay. Lead? Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. So he sounds like an investigator. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Okay, receptionist. Guess I better take the stairs. All right. Office. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Origami killer, seven victims, still no lead. Maybe he's the investigator for the origami. Oh, oh I gotta pay for information. That Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. All right. Let's look. All right. Third door, third floor. What do you say? Second door on the left. Second door on the left. Okay. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. What? Wait. It's fifty bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Oh, she's a. Why by me? She's a lady of the night. Okay. Are we really doing this or are we investigating her? Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Okay, so she is, we are investigating nice her. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Yeah, this is awful. Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. Okay. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. No, oh, okay. Well, he's obviously seen plenty of uh, ladies of the night. Scott Shelby, I just saw on his badge. Okay. You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Buy more money. I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? Uh-oh. You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Oh, boy. Get the fuck out! Well, we did not handle that very well. Um, dang. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. Yeah, I feel like we blew it. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. Dang, I wonder if we blew it. Can I talk to you some more? I don't want to leave yet. Wait, what was this? Is that our card? Well, if you remember anything, yeah. the smallest detail, give me a call. Why wouldn't she be a little bit more open to an investigator? Doesn't she want them to stop killing other kids? 
or other people? I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I guess we should leave. I kind of like blew it with her. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have said the buy option to a prostitute. I'm just gonna look out your window real quick. See what you can see. Okay. I just wish there was something else that we could do. I don't want to leave. <laughs> We're awkwardly just like walking around though. All right, let's get out of here. Sorry to bother you. Oh my God. What's happening? Um, does he need medicine? Asthma attack. Dang. Lauren. Lauren, open customer. Up, it's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, doll. Goddamn so asthma. To see ya. Ah. And it's not gonna get any better this freaking weather. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that, that weird guy. That guy just forced his way into Lawrence. Oh, place. he forced his way in. Sounds there? like the room's getting rearranged. And not in a good way. Yeah, we should probably intervene. Oh, she screamed. No, we need to get in there. Why are you knocking? What do you want, asshole? Lauren. Uh, is everything all right? Oh. She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Um. Okay. Yeah, we need to get in there. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Whoops. Yeah. Ooh. Asshole. We got messed up. We wrecked Are you our all house. Right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Yeah, for sure. Sorry about the mess. Uh, pff, Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, he's hurting. We got stabbed a little. We got our head bashed against some cabinets. That was terrible, especially after having an asthma attack. Shoo. Tuesday, 8.05 a.m. 0.680 inches. I'm guessing that we are talking about rain accumulation.
That was interesting. Okay, so we're at a crime scene. We're with a new character who seemingly might have a drug problem or has very high anxiety. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Dang. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. Noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Okay. Gotta cross this line. So we're an FBI investigator. May or may not have a drug problem. And we're looking for Lieutenant Blake. Okay. Guessing we're investigating something to do with this origami killer of some sort. Let's head into the fence where everybody else is. What are those? Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Those are some awesome glasses. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. What an interesting addition to this game. Like technology. Like this, bank manager. No I'm criminal record. The investigation. Okay. So a bank manager was out here drinking some alcohol <laughs> under the train. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Okay. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. So the origami killer likes to kill near train tracks, apparently. Thanks. Okay, so that's Blake over there. There's a ton of footprints everywhere. I'm guessing that's what he means by there's too many people here. The body's still here. They're just tracking stuff all over the place. I'm soaking wet. Body is still here. All right, let's use our scanner thing. I'm gonna go talk to Blake first. I think that could be important. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Yeah, they definitely are. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. All right, so they pointed me to him again. I thought he was maybe gonna like speak up. Thanks. What was that move? All right, let's talk to him. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me you'd be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, can we tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. I'm in Dayton. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Hey, okay, there are witnesses? Any witnesses? None yet. Now, given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. 
We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Jeez, that body out here in the rain? Not good. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. Mm. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. The cause? Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Jeez, Tony, so drowning. I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? We're yes, sick. Lieutenant. I think we're addicted to drugs. He's having like drug withdrawals and let's meet, I don't know. Listen, sick you look from... busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Okay, I'm sad. I wish I could have asked him more questions, but that's okay. Body is still here. All right, so let's put our glasses back on and do an investigation for ourselves. So the origami killer likes to kill by drowning near train tracks and seems like possibly kids. All right, let's see what this is over here. Ari comment, sample of no interest, comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. What's this? Harry comment, the victim was lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh no, I didn't mean to get up. So this is the body. Origami. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers Look. were probably closed after the time of death. Okay. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. An orchid? Flower pollen, less than 12 hours. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Oh. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Jeez. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Jeremy. Oh, man. Okay. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Why? All right, I think we did everything to look at in here. Let's go ahead and get up. It's interesting that he's holding the same origami that Ethan woke up after his mental breakdown holding. I think that's very alarming. The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. Alright. I did see something over to... Or right over here. Harry Cunning. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Orchid pollen. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? Harry comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. I'm scared I'm gonna get hit by a train. Okay, so because of the tall grass, we're not able to... to see where the orchid pollen went. Traces of blood on the railroad track. 
Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Interesting. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. Yeah, he definitely didn't, but he has a lot on his plate, too. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. All right, so we got some footprints. Harry comment. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. Maybe he hit the, the fence. came this way with the body and probably grazed it yeah. on his way through the fence. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> we're not getting up there. Oh, okay. We're going to try. Who made it? The noises this guy is making <laughs> to trek up a muddy hill. Highway. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay, so we're tracing the steps back. Maybe we can find some like vehicle tires or something. Yeah. tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. Okay. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Yeah, he's obviously feeling some kind of way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you're on a highway, buddy. What do you really expect? Hopefully we're not going to fall down that hill. All right. What's this? This is just the the footprints. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Okay. All right, let's safely make our way down here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got to be a little bit more careful than that. No, wait, let's not climb. I don't want to climb. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's get down again. Okay, I made it. Very muddy now. <laughs> okay. He did say that we've seen everything that we should see, so. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave too. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Okay. Right. So far, this crime scene stuff is chalking up to be uh, not too great. How do I get under there? There we go. Like kids, mud, I don't know, the rain drowning them. Your train tracks, it just, it seems really bad. 
especially if they're a serial killer, which is kind of how they're playing it up to be happening. Six victims, seven victims. Not good. sure he just ran into my car <laughs> the bottom there the other detective guy he totally ran us over all right everyone i'm gonna stop here for today but so far i love my time in heavy rain and i say love with a question mark at the end because I think it's going to be a really, really rough story that we're going to be getting through. There's definitely a lot more heavy tones that are being addressed already, just having a first look into the game. And the prologue was such a tease of how happy and joyful and amazing that life can be, but it just takes that one moment for your life to completely turn upside down. Ethan is now divorced. He lost a son and it seems like the relationship with Sean is so strained because I think that Ethan is harboring a lot of that guilt inside of him for what happened to Jason. I mean, rightfully so. He was in charge of watching Jason at the time and he ended up losing him because Jason wasn't listening and he was too excited and in the moment and had a balloon and he just wandered off several times and then it led to a really unfortunate event. Something like this is something that I have had anxiety about. So that moment today for me, I was sweating. I was very worked up and it made me feel scared. And I can tell already that this game is going to be amazing just on the emotions that I have already felt and been dealing with through this game. I am very excited to see the investigative side of everything and try to figure out what and who this origami killer is. Right away, I want to say that it could possibly be Ethan since he had that moment of waking up in the middle of the road after having a panic attack after putting Sean down and waking up with a piece of origami in his hand. So I'm not sure if the game just wants me to feel this way right away that Ethan could potentially be the origami killer. After looking at the article with Ethan about the origami killer, he like shoved the newspaper away, which was a really strong reaction for someone that's just looking through the newspaper at something that, I mean, I hate to say it, but it happens pretty often that these serial killers are on the loose and they have to find them. They're doing horrible things. I feel like news headlines are pretty frequently about those kinds of things happening. And his quick, like, almost disgusted reaction and throwing down the newspaper at just reading the headline was a little bit alarming, especially having Ethan wake up after whatever kind of mental breakdown he was having and losing moments of your life. I just, it's very, it's very alarming. And he could be just going through severe phases of loss and PTSD and disassociating a little bit from himself because of these very strong emotions. I know when I was going through a lot of really, really, really hard times growing up, I would disassociate a lot. And that's why I can't remember a lot of my childhood is because I just, put myself in a different mind frame or became a different person sometimes to deal with the things that were happening to me is what happens when you're put through really, really traumatic experiences like the one that Ethan went through. It's hard for the son because you're losing your brother and it's especially hard for the mother because of losing a son. But with Ethan, it's a little bit different because he held Sean in his arms as he went and tried his best to save him in that moment, but failed. And that is not like saying his trauma is worse than anyone else's trauma, but his trauma is very deep. It's much deeper and goes way more in depth than the mother dealing with the loss of a kid and blaming Ethan for it possibly. We haven't really been able to hear why they got divorced or even hear from Grace at this point. So I'm hoping we get to see a little bit more of what happened with that. So far with Ethan, I'm noticing a lot of alarming characteristics that are coming from that traumatic moment. I'm also really enjoying the character development already. 
with Ethan, we have that trauma to kind of deal with and see him snowball into. Um, with the investigator, we have asthma that is going on and he obviously is taking his job seriously and just wants to get down to the bottom of this investigation. I'm also not too sure about this FBI agent. I feel like he could be dealing with some themes of drug addiction or I'm not really sure what that blue substance was, but it gave me flashbacks to red ice and the handshaking and him saying internally, I gotta keep it together. I can't let them see me like this. I know that when you have severe drug addiction and you're off of it for a while, you can get those feelings of a drug flu. So he could be dealing with that or he could just have a cold, but I think it's not a coincidence that they gave him some sneezing and some handshaking and looking down at that vial of possibly drugs. I did also notice that this game does have concept art in it, very similar to Detroit. So we will definitely look through the first one that unlocked in this final crime scene chapter next time in the beginning of the video. But thank you all for joining me today and I will see you in the next episode. Bye everyone.